Hi everyone, and welcome back to Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes. In this video, I am wanting to start a new series honoring the soldiers and sailors from Indiana who have received the Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor is the United States' highest award for military valor in action. The recipients showed bravery, courage, sacrifice, and integrity, also a deep love of country and a desire to always do what is right. There are those who were not injured during their feats of bravery and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. There have been a total of 3,534 medals awarded. There are 19 soldiers who received the Medal of Honor twice. Dr. Mary E. Walker is the only woman to have received the Medal of Honor. Her time of service was during the Civil War. Today, there are 65 Medal of Honor recipients still living. One of those soldiers is Sammy L. Davis. Davis graduated from Mooresville High School Morgan County in 1966. Davis enlisted into the Army from Indianapolis in 1965 and would face combat during Vietnam and earned his Medal of Honor in a battle in November of 1967. I want to start this series with the Civil War. There were 1,523 medals awarded for Civil War soldiers and sailors more than any other military conflict. This article appeared in the Indianapolis Star on May 5, 1912. This article tells of 40 Hoosiers who received the Medal of Honor for their brave actions during the Civil War. Mentioned in the 1912 article is that the medal is never worn except at military functions and is suspended around the neck by a blue ribbon. The article tells how the Medal of Honor the highest decoration for personal valor has little intrinsic value. It bestows no rank or privilege and carries no pension. The medal is the sole reward for the most gallant deeds emblazoned on the pages of American history. The article also states that it is far more difficult to win than the Victoria Cross of England, the Iron Cross of Germany, the Cross of St. George of Russia, or the Cross of the Legion of Honor of France. On July 2, 1862, Congress voted for the issuance of the Medals of Honor. Interestingly, officers were barred from receiving the Medal of Honor. On March 3, 1863, Congress then voted to include officers on the list of recipients. At the time of this article, in 1912, naval officers were still not eligible for the Medal of Honor. This was changed in 1915 to also make them eligible to receive the country's highest award. I've introduced you to a few of Indiana's regiments during the Civil War, and in this video I will introduce you to one I haven't talked about yet. In this video we will be talking about the 59th Indiana Infantry. The 59th Indiana Infantry was organized at Gosport, Indiana, in the fall and winter of 1861. The commanding officer was Jesse I. Alexander. It was mustered on February 11, 1862, and left Indiana on February 18, heading to Commerce, Missouri, for duty with the Army of the Mississippi. A few of the battles the 59th was involved in were the Siege of Corinth, the Second Battle of Corinth, the Battle of Vicksburg, and the Battle of Bentonville. The 59th was mustered out on July 17, 1865, in Louisville, Kentucky. The regiment traveled 3,756 miles by rail, 4,618 miles by water, and 5,305 miles on foot. Let me introduce you to James W. Archer. He is the son of James M. Archer and Margaret Dunn. He was born on September 6, 1828 in Illinois, but was living in Spencer, Owen County, Indiana by 1840. He did explore other parts of the country heading west, even heading to California to the gold fields, traveling over the plains by a team of oxen. 
He remained in California until 1852, but James would return to Indiana and Owen County. He would marry Elizabeth Chambers on June 4, 1854. Together they would have six children. Four of those were born before the Civil War. Once the war between the states started, James would enlist at the age of 33, and he would be assigned to Company A, 59th Indiana Infantry, as a first lieutenant. In 1862, he would be appointed aide-de-camp to General N. E. Buford. For James Archer, the Battle of Corinth, Mississippi, would call upon his quick thinking and extreme bravery. The Battle of Corinth would begin on Saturday, October 3rd, 1862. Confederate generals Earl Van Dorn and Sterling Price believed that if they could capture the town of Corinth in Mississippi, it would break the Union hold on the Corinth-Memphis Railroad, forcing Union General Ulysses S. Grant from Western Tennessee. Generals Van Dorn and Price attacked with 22,000 men. There was fighting on the 3rd, which didn't make any headway for the South. On Sunday the 4th, there was a heavy hour-long battle, which under the Union General William Rosencrantz sent the Confederates away in a full retreat. In this battle, the Union had 2,520 casualties, and the Confederates lost 4,233. First Lieutenant James W. Archer earned his medal at the Battle of Corinth on the 4th of October, 1862. The 48th Indiana Volunteer Infantry had lost their commander, Lieutenant Colonel DeWitt C. Rugg, to wounds. The citation for James Archer states that Archer voluntarily took command of another regiment with the consent of one or more of his seniors who were present and he rallied the command and led it in the assault. He would be presented with the Medal of Honor on August 2, 1897. After the war, James would return to Spencer, Indiana, and he would have two more children with his wife, Elizabeth. He was a farmer and spent some time in the lumber business. He would eventually relocate to Washington, D.C., and at the time of his death worked for the Pension Bureau. He passed away at his home on January 27, 1908, and his body would be returned to Spencer, Indiana for burial. He is buried at the Riverside Cemetery, Spencer, Owen County, Indiana. His wife Elizabeth and all six of his children were still living at the time of his death. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the first in the series of Hoosier Medal of Honor winners. I was happy to tell you the story of James W. Archer from Spencer, Indiana, who was awarded his Medal of Honor for his bravery shown at the Battle of Corinth on October 4, 1862. Please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. And be sure to click on the notification bell so that you will be notified when the next Hoosier History, Legends, and Hero video is uploaded. Until next time,